If you're selling anything online nowadays, you have to learn how to accept payments online. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys a few methods and strategies that's going to allow you to set up payment processors and start collecting payments from your customer online. Make sure you stick to the end of this video because I'm dropping you guys some secret automation tips and tricks. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Our first stop is going to be Stripe. So Stripe is an online payment processor. So majority of the business, if you're online, you basically are familiar with a Stripe. And the cost of this payment processor is 2.9 per transaction fee plus an additional 30 cents. So first thing you want to do is have an account with a Stripe and then you want to connect your bank account. Basically, your checking or your saving account with a Stripe. That's how you get paid direct deposit into your bank account. In the top menu bar, there is one section that says products. Give that a click. Click on add product. So so for product details, we can input our product or service name. In this case, I put local SEO service just as a demonstration and you put a description. You can upload your specific product image or your logo on the top right corner. And now the most important information I want to touch on is pricing. There's different types of pricing models. In this case, let's just go with a standard pricing. Either it's a recruiting or it's a one time payments. I'm charging this client on a month to month basis. You can also go with every three months or every six months. And now check this out i'm going to add another pricing for 12 months it's going to cost 58.80 right so now i want to give them a discount in advance let's say if they want to go with a yearly we give them a thousand dollars discount once i'm happy with it click on save product so within a few minutes we created our first product and now you can see under pricing we have two different options let's go to the monthly at the end we'll create a payment link this is how the payment link looks like and you can customize with a lot of features here you can also include a free trial if you want to let's say this free trial is 14 day free trial and you can also request a phone number from this customer in case you want to reach out to them with a phone since this is a service that doesn't require physical address so i'm going to check the bottom two and leave the one alone now let's come to the confirmation page so you can show a confirmation page or you can replace with your own custom message or you can don't show any confirmation page at all so you can redirect them to a different website or different lender once you're happy with it click on create link so this is the first method which is using stripe to collect either one-time payment or month-to-month -month recruiting payment. And here is a method number two. Since we talked about Stripe, how can we forget about PayPal? PayPal is another really important and powerful payment processor in order to collect payment on the internet. Let's quickly touch on the fees. As you can see here, they also charge 2.9% pre-transaction fee and plus a fixed fee depends on what country you're from in this list. So for PayPal, we're gonna use two different options to accept payments online. First one is a request money. So we can always call your client to ask them if they have a PayPal account. If they do have a PayPal account, you can simply click on request money, input their name, their username or email or phone number in order to receive the link. I put an email address in here. Let's click on request from and then click on next. And then here is the dollar amount you need to input here. You can click on the dollar sign to change it to any other currency that you want. And from here, you can add another person and click on request money. And for the receiver end, they will receive a direct PayPal link to pay you this amount that you input. And here's a second feature for PayPal to accept payment which is called invoicing give that a click on your dashboard on the top right corner you can either create invoice by batch or you can create individual invoice so for the item names is it going to be the same name and then scroll down you can add a message to the customer you can add terms and condition click on more options we can upload a file as an attachment or leave a memo to ourselves. you can input your invoice number and your invoice date and a due you can give them like 10 days to pay this invoice or 15 days you can also add a discount shipping fee if you have any and at the bottom you have the option to let them pay partial payment or allow tips at the end so these two options are also available so when you're done with everything you can click on this preview sign and give that a click it will preview how the invoice looks like so this will be sent to the customer so they can click on the pay now button to make this payment inside of the paypal window and now I want to talk about two more apps that transform the way I collect payments or do business online. And here's a third app called Invoice List. And recently I've made a detailed tutorial on how to set up Invoice List, how to use it, how to automate it. The link is in the description below or somewhere in this corner. Make sure you give that a watch. They have a really cool feature called the estimate. Basically before we finalize everything, I can send an estimate to this client and they can click on accept this estimate. First thing, let's come to Invoice tab and create a new invoice. 
invoice. Any one of these parameter is customizable. So you can input your invoice number, your issue date, and your due date. Depends on how many days you want to give them. And here's a list of all the currency and the status of the invoice. So you can add new customer. They have their built-in CRMs. And here's the item of the service. We can add a discount. We can add a percentage-based discount. We can add a tax if we want to. And we can add any extra charges, for example, like a setup fee or so, you're able to do so. And at the end, obviously, terms and agreement and the notes. And most importantly, you can make this recruiting payment, meaning every first of the month or every first of the year, you can charge them as many times as you want. And you can also send them email automatically and also accept payment online automatically. Create invoice. And you can see there's a unique link that's populated. And also this link is 100% white labeled. When they open this link, this is the entire invoice. The pay now button is right here. If I click on it and it will automatically charge their credit card, the input here, or you can locate this specific invoice and go on the top left corner, click on the send button. It will trigger this invoice to send it to this customer's email inbox. Here comes the final app of my highly recommendation list, which is Thrivecard. Thrivecard is one of the apps I invested into my business and I transformed it in and out. If you are interested, the link is in the description below. What makes them really powerful is that you can collect payments through PayPal, Stripe, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and also they have something called a one-click upsell or one-click downsell, which can boost that average card value. I couldn't be happier since when I jumped to Thrivecard. And now let's create a product together and you will be the judge of how powerful this app is. In this case, we're offering a digital service and here's the product name again, local SEO service. Click on next and here's a list of all the currency and now let's set up a product price. So the first payment type is going to be subscription. You can either offer one-time fee, subscription, split pay or pay on your own. In this case, I'm gonna go with a subscription. I'm gonna give them a few options, right? The first one is gonna be monthly. I can go with a custom, rebuildings or infinite. And then from here, I can give them a three day, seven day, 30 day trial period period and then go ahead and charge that price from their credit card and then every recurring payment we can trigger an invoice directly sent to their email inbox from there i'm going to click on next and now i'm going to add another pricing so let's say we give them 500 dollars discount if they buy six months in advance so in this case you can see i input 2440 instead of 2940 here's two different payments i created and the final option i want to include which is the annual price which is 4880 because i want to give them a thousand dollars discount if they want to go with the annual plan right you can see everything's input correctly click on next click on save it depends on what country you're from you can calculate tax automatically based on software coaching depends on what you go for from here if i click on preview here is how the invoice looks like it's really professional the next step is something called order bump for example i created an order bump called it business audit report and priced it 27 dollars order bump can be pre-selected or let the customer manually click on that order bump for Fourth option is payment processor. You can see here there's five options. If I check Stripe, I can automatically enable Apple Pay and Google Pay, or I can let them choose PayPal options. A lot of these payment processor apps, they only let you use one type not Thrive. Thrive will let you use any one of these four options. I can literally turn my service into an affiliate program. And every person that he refers, you can give them a 10% kickback every single month, right? This is another really cool way to introduce your service to many other people. It's a more organic way to get more leads into the business. And you can see to the right, we have three options. We can either display their invoice after checkout, or we can send them to an URL, or we can add them to our membership site. And yes, Thrive Card also comes with with membership site. If you're really interested, drop some comments below. I will make that video happen. And you can see once everything is all good, click on next. So what this allows you to do is to build your own landing pages, just like ClickFunnel. However, you can build it with Thrivecard. We have a standard checkout page. We have a sales card. We can also embed it into a blog post or some sort of a website. And we can also do pop-up window based on what trigger you want to go for. In this case, I'm going to go with the standard version. Click on next. For the next phase, I'm going to speed up this process a little bit. I'm going to build an entire checkout window from scratch. And here is how the final checkout page looks like. We have a timer on top, we have a header, and we can embed any video of our choice. And we'll have a contact information, email address, full name, business name, phone number, and they can agree to my terms and agreement. This is required. And remember the order bump, and it's unchecked here. You can see if I checked on that, it will add this 
$27 into my card. If I uncheck it, it will remove that 27. I'm gonna go with the first one. And now I can either go with the PayPal or I can go with the credit card. And here is a test credit card I input here because we're on the test mode right now. Just wanted to check how the final success page looks like, right? So here is a test credit card, click on complete order and it's completing the order. And here is a confirmation page of how the invoice looks like. They can download a PDF or contact support. If you stick to this part of the video, I want to congratulate you and thank you for sticking through. So you just learned the basic and the more advanced payment processing methods that I personally use in my business. And drop some comments below. Let me know which specific app or feature that you like the most, or maybe you have some better recommendation in terms of how to invoice and accept payments online. I'd love to give them a read. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. On this channel, I do a lot of app reviews, tutorials packed with amazing content coming up down the road. This is Toriel Salton signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.